the great conflict about the character and the great conflict which is fun to play is that there's a sort of temptation uh, with this world, with the CIA and how they do things. And she realizes that she's not even scratching the surface doing what she's doing, doing things by the book. And so I think there is the constant pull and the magnet towards that world where she sees the benefit of what they do in some ways. She sees how quickly they get things done. The movie takes place over three days. And so in three days, her whole world is turned upside down. That's how I always saw it. I, th I think the audience are looking at this through Kate's eyes. And, um, and I think that they're asked to question their moral compass as to what they would do in this situation. Um, and I think she's a lot more law-abiding than most of the people that will want to come and see this movie. And I think they will also ask themselves that question. And so you're constantly, I hope, as an audience member, pulled in different directions as to which way is the right way. Maybe there is no right way of doing this. He's this rather mystical character and he doesn't say much and she knows he's not CIA and she knows he's not law enforcement so she's got her eye on him from the start and um, and he seems to be looking out for her in a rather strange way and um, I think she's confused by his presence but she knows he's important. Benicio is just a phenomenal actor. I mean, he's, we've seen him play these very unleashed sort of roles and this is incredibly quiet and still and suppressed. And he's really interesting. He makes scenes interesting. He manages to sort of carve out new space for himself within a moment or within a scene. He brings a lot to the table. He's very collaborative and um, he has a spirited opinion. You know, and so it's been exciting in that way to work with him because we have made some changes that we think have elevated the material and made the scene maybe more than we ever thought it could be. Um, and he brings ambiguity to what he does, you know, because he's not, he doesn't bring a lot of sort of paint by numbers clarity, you know, which is what I love about him as, him as an actor is that you, you sort of have to kind of look closer, you know, so, and I feel myself doing that in scenes with him as well. Roger has that incredible look that you know of Roger Deakins' movie. It just glows. There's something about it. It's a very singular look. And um, and day one, I was I was just watching him, and I was really excited to shake his hand and meet him. And he's he's like one of the members of the Rolling Stones. I mean, he's just there's something about him. He's like he's like a rock and roll guy or something. He's and uh, and he. He cares deeply about the story. It's not just pointing a camera. He cares deeply about what the shot is saying. And um, and I wish I could do every movie with him because it really is such dark subject matter and and he's managed to find this beauty within it.